Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to episode 5 of the Heart Gold Randomised Nuzlocke. And uh, we're standing outside the Azalea Town gym right now, where Bugsy's waiting inside. Last episode we took on Slowpoke Well. Um, that's pretty much all we did. We've got a couple of encounters as well. So if we want to just have a quick look at the team, see what we're looking like. Up front right now, oh, we need to go to the Pokemon Center before I go in the gym. That's what we do need to do. We've got Pimp. Uh, with the item Quick Claw, with the ability Multi-Type, which I've not got a plate that can benefit him yet, but when I do, that's going to be a good ability. And so we've got Slash, uh, we've got Steadfast, raises speed each time a Pokemon flinches, which I guess could be okay, but he's holding the Miracle Seed because he's got Absorb at the minute. We've got Mogo, level 17, Amulet Coin, Vault Absorb, which is really good for a Water Type, good move set as well. And we've got Jibble, Gibble. Gibble, I don't know how you pronounce that name. Uh, Storm Drain, Pokemon draws in all water type moves. I'm thinking I'm probably not going to use Gibble or Gibble or whatever too much. Uh, and also here we've got an egg. Doesn't seem close to hatching. We're going to do that check at the start of every episode to see how close to hatching it is. Uh, but at the minute, nowhere near. So with that, let's go and have a quick heal. And we'll get into the gym. And see what the trainers in there have got for us. I don't, I don't think we took on any gym members in the last episode. No, we definitely didn't. We definitely didn't. We finished the well, spoke to Kurt, and then came straight, straight to the uh, gym. Right. So now that we're healed up, let's go and see what the gym's got for us. Uh, yes. Oh. Just inside the door would be good. Okay. Hey there. Yo, Challenger. Bugsy made this gym. It's a nest of bug-type Pokemon. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not going to be. Let's go. Ooh. What is this puzzle? Okay. Uh, let's sort of go on this one. Oh. Oh, what's that done? Well, that's the right place, I think, anyway, because that's how you get. Yeah. Bug Pokemon evolve young so they get stronger that much faster. Yeah, but they're only strong to like level 20 or so, and then everything else starts overtaking it, so. Not really that useful. So, we start off with an Oddish, your Grass type. Don't scare me that much. Let's try Twister on you, Oddish. Quick Claw lets us go first. And wait, Twister. That will do. A couple more of them, and we'll be looking all right. Absorb's okay, because it's not really going to touch me. I'm a dragon type. Quick Claw lets us go. See, I feel like we would be going first anyway, so Quick Claw, probably a bit useless. For honest. Goes for absorb again. Again, that's not gonna do anything. And I'm still gonna beat it with Twister this time around. And it would be nice if we get a few levels on Pimp, because he's hard to train because Dragon type Pokemon level up slowly. They're like the opposite of Bug type Pokemon. Oh, Hariyama, you're a fighting type, so. Let's go in with... No, you're rock type for your weak. So let's go in with Mogger. Can't wait until Mogger evolves into a Kinglet. One of my favourites. Not one of the best, but one of my favourites. So what's going to be the best here? Bubble Beam, we get stabbed for it. So let's have that. Ooh. Not doing too much, really. Well, I, th I feel that's a bit mad seeing as I'm level 17 and this guy's level 9. Like, and Magic is a Harry Hammer, it's a fully evolved. It's, 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 it's a bit of a tank, so. We'll let it off this time. So, in with the big beam again. Down goes Harry Hammer. That one's easy enough. Perfect. Next, we have Happiny, another high HP Pokemon. 
Let's try somebody else out here. Let's have Slash have a go. But he's a normal type. So, not really much threat. And, oh, it's level 12, which is decent, and we should. He's got Intimidate, <laughs> intimidate which cuts, cuts my attack. Shame. But we'll go for one shot anyway. I think that's special, so. Speed doesn't really matter because I'm faster anyway. Charm, what lowers my defense or lowers my attack? Oof. If you've not already been lowering my attack enough, that's all right. One more, more shot. I think we've, uh, I think we've got it. Sweet kiss. Is that asleep? No confusion. Okay. Well, one more shot's still going to finish you off. Not concerned. Ah, yeah, maybe eat my words. Charm again is going to lower my attack, but I think Mudshot is a special type attack. Special attack type, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Special attack, so I don't think it matters that my attack's lowered. It does matter that I'm confused, though, which is really annoying. So, what are we going to do? That confusion's not doing much damage, and this thing doesn't seem to have anything that can hit me, so... I'm not too worried about... Ah, oh, I keep using the Mudshot, because... Oh, but it knows Copycat, and it's going to use Mudshot back. Oh. It's super effective, but it's a super shit Pokemon, so no problem. Confused. Come on, just hit. There we go. It's happening. That's some good XP there for that one. 655. Jeez. And that's Tristian. Thank you very much. That's Christian. Right, so how do we do this then? Well we go so we need to use the red or do we need to use the blue? Well either way we've got to do this double battle, so that's interesting. Hey you're challenging the leader no way if you insist we'll be your opponents. Let's do it! You don't scare me, Kamanawi. Have a Rylo and Bunny, normal, and I think Rylo might be fighting at this point. So, Crystal will hit both of them, so that's a good start. And then we'll move shot Bunny. Slash gets the Quick Claw. No, Pimp gets the Quick Claw. Crystal's gonna hit both of them. Doesn't do that much though. Oh, and then that misses as well. God damn it. That was, that was an awful round of uh, attacks. So much hits this time. Yeah, that's the key. Guess the crit. Perfect. And I think both of them should be leveling up, really. Oh, Pimp must be close because... He was definitely close to levelling up at the end of the last battle. Ryo Ryolu flinches, which means we can hopefully hit him one more time, and that will be the end of it. Pip uses Twister, and he finishes him off. Thank you very much. Well, that was nice and easy. Straightforward, right? So I'm guessing we've got to use this and go back down, which is going to take. Gonna, oh, makes us skip the blue. That's a good thing, right? And then we use the red, which is going to make us not. There we go. Okay, we're here. That was shockingly easy. Uh, if I leave and go back to Pokémon Center, we'll have to do the puzzle again. That's the question. And can I even get back out? Now nah, from that. Yes, I can, but I need to do, use the blue lever. I'm going to go heal up, and I will be right back. And we are back, and we're ready to take on Bugsy. He's got cool purple hair. I'm interested in what the randomizer's... Huh, what Pokemon the randomizer's given him, and what his name is, because it changes his name. He says Bugsy now, but it's, it's going to change. It's going to change. I think Jeffrey. Alex? Oh, that's boring. So here we go, second gym battle. 
Second gym badge. We're a quarter of the way there. So our bock is a much higher level. Just poison type, I think. Nah. So let's go for a thunder wave. And then we may switch out because I don't think it's the right match against this thing. Not that it's particularly weak to it, but it's just not a very good level. Let's try it out with a twister scene. We've got it paralyzed already. Yeah, that's that's gonna take way too too long, too risky. So poison, we will go in with Mogger, who is a water type, no weaknesses there. Bite. Oh, and it crits. Those critical hits are going to be nasty if it keeps doing that. Right, so let's. Bite crit first. Paralysis comes in, so that's good. Just need to try out a few other things. Aurora Beam being one of them. Doesn't do much either, but it's going to. Lowers his attack, so that's good. Uh, citrus Berry restores its HP. It uses Glare. That's another power. Oh, so we're both paralyzed now. Cool. You probably outspeed me, so you're going to get paralyzed first. Go for the football. Now, this is the same, uh, same type attack bonus, so you would hope it'd do some decent damage, but it doesn't. Vice Grip it is. I think I like it because Bubbles a special move and uh, Mogger's got pretty good physical attack stat, so I could be wrong about that though. That's what the reason I'm giving for that not working. I may have to look into that. So Paralysis comes up for us this time. Remember we're half speed as well. Because Paralysis is half speed. And we get the attack and Vice Grip brings it down. Beautiful. <laughs> Whoa! Get out of my fucking game! Right, well, Mog is a water type, so. How is fire flying? So, water attacks are super effective. Yeah. And my other, my other decent one, Slash, which is pot water type as well, so actually, I think I might be okay with this. Oh man, that is a nasty looking beast on my screen right now. I don't have anything to fix the paralysis, but I can heal. Oh man, this is too much. Gust, that's fine. Oh my gosh, what? Shit, a brick. Um. Oh dear. Rock water type. Gus is not going to do much. Yeah. It's still more effective than I'd like it to be. Right. Mud shot. Oh, it's pot flying. Of course that doesn't work. Use this brave bird. You can hold off. There we go. I need to sit with recoil. Oh, man, the only thing I've got on this thing is scratch, really. Oh my god, why did I have to come up against this? Oh, I don't like it. It's going to heal as well. I know as soon as I get it down to... Please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. Oh! Oh, fuck my life. Okay. Man, this is this is some bullshit right here. I don't know whether to get Dratini out of that. Yeah, we have to get Dratini out and try and Thunder Wave it. Goes for Brave Bird. Dratini will withstand a Brave Bird. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think we can. I think. Keep scratching it and using super potions. Whirlwinds me, which brings in. That could actually be really useful if it brings in someone decent. Zatini! Perfect. 
because I've not had to waste a turn swapping out. And I can hit it with the Thunder Wave. Go for Brave Bird. Come on, just live this, live this, live this. Oh no, Dratini! Pimp! I'm so sorry, Pimp. Oh no. This isn't good. Right, what do we do? Well, I've got to look for Slash, because anyone else that goes out there is going to get beat instantly. Right, so I've just got to hope he doesn't heal up this turn. No! <laughs> oh, come on! Everything bad that could possibly happen is happening! Oh, no. But I'm faster... Oh, you little bastard. Now it's used one potion, it won't, he won't use another one. That's the advantage here. Now, I can live another but Brave Bird as long as it doesn't crit. And then I'll use my potion. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we have the potion. Has he not run out of Brave Birds yet? How many PP can that move possibly have? So super potion. Gets us back to full. He's less than half. Weather ball. I don't know what the weather is. That could be bad. It's not. So I'm guessing from that that he's out of Brave Bird, which would be good. So we're going to go for Scratch. Yes, critical hit. Useful. Whirlwind. Not useful. And it's Mogger. And August will finish Mogger off because August did half health last time. So we swap out. Can't just sit and take that, I'm afraid. Brave Bird, good, perfect. No problem there. And then we will hit with a scratch, and that will finish Ho-Oh off. Done. Oh, dear me, thank goodness for that. Slash is going to get a level, so will Mogger, hopefully, because that's a decent chunk of XP. Perfect. Arbok, back out. Now, if I remember, it's paralysed and not on the best health yet. Even though this is my last Pokemon, bugs are tough, or something like that. I'm paraphrasing, I didn't quite catch the whole thing. Right, much shot. We're faster than it anyway, so... That's good. And it's super effective. Beautiful. Speed falls, but it doesn't really matter. That's going to use Glare, which is going to paralyse us as well. We should be faster than it, though. Mudshot's going to finish it off. Get him! We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got the fucking badge. Thank you for coming, Alex. Appreciate you battling me. Thanks for the money. I am an expert, you're right. And I've got the hive badge. Great work. Pokemon to level 30 will obey you. And he's giving me a TM, which of course is randomised. It says, it says U turn, but it's not. So, first things first, let's see what that TM is. Because that could be useful. Outrage, that's a dragon type move. Power 120, accuracy 100. Use the rampages. Rampages? Rampage, well. Rampage, and attacks for two to three turns, however, it then becomes confused. That could be useful if someone can learn it apart from uh, Tini, who's dead. And no one can. So there we go. So the next... Wait, how do... Oh, I didn't press the... Yeah, I've got to press the blue. Yeah. Press this blue thing. Well, that was not as straightforward a gym as I would have liked it to have been, but we got there. And we lost, only lost Pimp, who could have been a very good member of the team, but wasn't integral. We can deal. So, next then, we heal, and as far as I know, we're done in this town for now. I think we're heading to Elix Forest, I reckon, which is where we... Chase around a far fetch, don't we? Someone's far fetch is lost. Chase it around, get caught. 
uh, and then we'll be in, on to the next route to get into Goldenrod City. Obviously, we've got an encounter in Elix Forest, and there's at least one route before Goldenrod that we can get an encounter as well. Oh, I, oh, I can't take Pimp with me. Pimp's dead. Dead man walking. So, let's put Pimp away. Box two. Where all my dead people are. Oh, God, are they all my Pokemon that died already? Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, well. Fuck it. Crack on. Alright, next move is to Elix Forest. And we can get an encounter in there, so let's make sure we've got Bolazzles and other stuff. We've got... So we already have eight Pokeballs. I feel like that's good enough for me. We're going to get some Super Potions because I've used my last one. So I'll have five of those. What else have we got here? I'll tell you what they have got. The Pels. Which is an integral part of this series not lasting for a million episodes. Due to stupid random encounters. Alright. I think I gave an Apricorn to Kurt as well. So that might be... That might be ready by now. Yo! I finished your Pokeball! Love Ball. Perfect. That turned out great. Try catch a Pokemon with it. I don't know what a Love Ball is. I'm guessing it makes the Pokemon like you when you catch it. Which is good if you've got a... Oh, it's Becca! Oh. I can't remember what voice Becca's was, but let's make her evil. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. We have a battle. Come on, Becca. Let's see what she's got. Sableye, good. Good Pokemon. Uh, I can hit it with Mudshot, though. It's Ghost type. Ooh. Not as good as I thought. Foresight. Identified Slash. I don't know what that means. I think it means the next move doesn't hit, maybe? No, the next move definitely hits, that's what I mean. Doesn't miss. Nightshade. Rock and Water. I'm good with that. I can take that. Take that on the chin. One more mud shot. Sableye's easy. Down he goes. Good night for us. Level up for Slash. Omni! Oh my god, it's like Battle of the... Come on, words. Come out. Battle of the Fossil Pokemon. We keep battling. Okay, let's absorb because it's a water type. Which means this is super effective. Oh, this, it's not even, not even going to be close. Withdrawal's going to have raised the defense. Fence, but absorbs a special move, so that's absolutely useless. There we go. And next we have Lapras. Oh my god. This girl's not messing around. Now I'm gonna get Mogarin because I wanted to get some XP, but I may switch back to Slash. Of sh uh, because she's got Absorb, which I think, wait, no, is it is that just pure ice? Is it, is it ice water? Because if it's ice water, then Absorb's not going to be that good. Oh well. Goes for Mist. First team becomes shrouded in Mist. I'm going to hit the Vice Grip. That's good for me. Goes for Confuse Ray. Oh, man. Get through it. Oh. We'll go for Vice Grip again. Now Water Course. We're eating that one. That's not a... That's a, No constant. Fucking hell, it critical hit. Jesus Christ. Now Vice Grip's good. 
Right, what, what do we do here? I think the best thing to do might be to go back into Slash. The water, the Pokemon draws in all water type moves. See, I, oh no, that's, that's the wrong Pokemon. Slash. I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. It's rock water, but does that mean it resists? It doesn't resist water, it'll just be neutral to water. See, rock's normally weak, but because it's rock water, it's going to be neutral, yeah. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. So let's try Absorb and see whether or not this is very effective. Yeah, the water typing is there, so... It is super effective. It's not very good, but it gives us a bit more health back while we're still taking it away from him, so... It's useful. That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. Fuck off, Becca. Judas. Mist. I don't know what Mist does. Flash is confused. It hurts itself in confusion. <laughs> Shock. Okay, this is getting scary, Bill, now. I need to beat this thing. I need to snap out of this confusion, like, as soon as possible. <sighs> HP restored. That produces what once again. Oh, this is a long battle. I don't even think I've hit it with a scratch yet, so I don't even know what damage scratch is going to do. I just keep getting confused. Just get, get out of confusion, man! I don't want to have to swap out. I may have to to get rid of the confusion, because I can't do anything here. Right, I'm just going to have to swap. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, man. Fuck off. Oh. Ah. So we heal up, then I'll be able, then I will be able to switch. Well, I don't know. Ice shard. Ooh. That could be nasty. No. Okay. Right, we stick in because we can. Snaps out of confusion. Finally. Which means we're gonna get the absorb doing anything. That's the shittiest super effective move you've ever seen in your life. I'm still going to go for it though. Absorb's good. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Oh, confuse Ray! Ah, come on, we can hit it one more time. Come on, Slash. Yes! Go on. Perfect. See ya, Becca. Thanks for coming. Good experience for everyone there. Hmm, <laughs> useless Pokemon, useless bitch trainer. You only won because my Pokemon are weak. Yeah, and why are your Pokemon weak? Because you're crap. No, oh, I don't care. Team Rocket, blah, blah, blah. Stay out of my way, blah, blah, blah. I'm not scared of you. She's pretty scary. Okay, so... Good move. Smashed her up. That's what we like to see. Let's get into Elix Forest and get our next encounter. Uh, and then we'll call it there because we'll do the next bit on the next episode. And the next bit is uh, that goddamn far fetch. We've got to try and catch for the. Not catch, but apprehend. Elix Forest is big, be careful, don't get lost. The forest is watched over by its protector, stay out of mischief. Yes, ma'am. Oh, cute Paris there. Okay. So, I think this is just an encounter anyway kind of place. So, let's just keep walking till we find something. Oh, we may have to start. Oh, maybe it's not an encounter anyway kind of place. Oh, maybe it is, good. I don't want to start the next bit, I want to do that next episode. And we have, oh, Crowgunk, what a load of absolute, well, I mean, what a load of Crowgunk. 
Oh, that's absolutely useless. I don't even know where they are. Yeah, you know what? I can't not catch these. Mud shot's probably going to kill it. But... Oh, and it's super effective, so it's definitely going to kill it. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't want to anyway. Useless. Would have been of no use to me at all. Oh, well, seeing as that was so short, now I'm thinking I might put a rappel down and actually do this far fetch thing. Where would I find a rappel? I have 13 rappels. Oh well, good to keep topped up. Let's. Here he is, look. Oh, no help! Blah blah blah, my boss is going to be angry. Far fetch, can you get him? Blah blah blah, far fetch. If you step on a branch, far fetch, blah blah blah. Okay, this is where I'm going to embarrass myself doing this far fetch puzzle. If you step on branches, he runs away. So there's a branch there, look. Okay. So, what's the best thing going to be to scare it to the right place then? Go behind it here. Qua! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Was that it? Oh my god, that's embarrassingly easy. Oh no, there's one more missing. Okay, good. I was about to say, Jesus. Oh, there's an item down here. Pell's effect wears off. And I'm going to put another one on because I do not want to run into loads of Pokemon here. Get this out of the way. What do we have down here? Oh. Randomised item, Master Ball. Ah, focus band. One day I am going to get a Master Ball as a randomised item and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, let's... Okay, so he's there. But we need to come up behind him. So it's... Branches don't bother it there. I step on these ones and see where it goes. I still can't get behind it there. Maybe from the side. So I've gone up from the front and it's run away. So now where's it facing? It's facing me. Oh, my rappel wore off and I carried on going and now I've got another bloody crow gun. What an absolute abysmal Pokemon. Couldn't have even scratched it. My weakest move, I couldn't have even used it. So I would never have caught it anyway. Right, so how do I get behind this thing? I suppose chase it a bit further, and then... If I chase it... Ah, okay. Okay. I think I've worked it out. Get away from this battle. Chuck another repel down. Oh, I can't wait till I can get super repels or match repels or whatever. Right. I think if we scare it again, it's going to run up there. And then if I make it face this way, go around those twigs so it doesn't move. And then. Gotcha! Yeah! Come on! Caught you from behind. Giggity. Wow, you got both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. You saved me. Here comes his boss. He's like, What up, pimps? My fart and fish. You found it for us, kid. I'm going to stop shouting now. I can see it clipping to fuck. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here's... Uh, there we go. HMO1. That means we can cut down a tree. Yeah! Perfect. And I've already got the gym badge for it because I'm a really cool guy. So let's get that on a Pokemon. Preferably on uh, Gibble or whatever his name is. Yeah. Seeing as he's my little bitch at the minute, not really doing anything back there. Just sat there. Would you like to cut it? Yes! And. Ooh, that was a horrible noise. And we're in. Here's the Elix Shrine, a tribute to Forest Protector Celebi. Trainer tips. Elix Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for my items that may have been dropped. Well, hintedy hint hint, right? For example, this little cutaway here seems like the kind of place a hidden item may exist. Up here, 
Okay, we have... Master Ball! I just said it! I called it, I called it, I called it! Master Ball! Yes! Oh my god! We actually got a Master Ball. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, I don't care about that guy. That looks a bit suspicious as well. Deep Sea Scale. I think that's one of those things you can like trade in for somebody to do something for you, but I don't remember. Oh! It's one of them Kimono girls. Kimono girls. You're not lost at all. Remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Yeah. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Oh, my Pokemon seems to have gone for a walk. You just walked off with my Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 no. My Pokemon's back. Good. Right. Uh, oh, I don't want to explore down here, really. I suppose there could be items. Oh, this is going to be where that uh, trainer was stood. Yeah, I don't really want to battle him, though. Oh, I'm not going to battle him by the looks of it. Oh, he's headbutting trees. That's what he's doing. He's going to give me the move headbutt. I'm shaking trees using headbutt. Here, have a headbutt. Yes. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Pokemon can't learn headbutt. Mugger? Alright, I'll come back when I've got Pokemon that I actually, I actually want to learn headbutt. Right, so let's... Now we know the way out, let's get out. We've got an item up here. Sea incense. Not a clue. And then I'm up here as well, because you know, why would they leave a little clearing like that? Nope! Well, they've fobbed me off there, haven't they? We're nearly out now, so I have to stop using all these stupid repels. Anything down here? Oh, there's something over there, but you need to surf to get to it. Perfect! Okay, so we're out of the forest. And unless anyone here has got anything to say to us, we're going to get the next encounter in the next route, and that's the end of it. You go away. What's you got to say? Honey, you're making a Pokedex. You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this TM. Oh, we got TM. Perfect. What we got? Taunt. It's not really Taunt, though, but that's what it should be. Let's see what it actually is, shall we? Uh, Drain Punch. Useful. Fighting type move. Right, so there's trainers here. I don't want to battle them. I just want to get an encounter in this grass. So let's see what we can get. We're going to have to run out of the repel first. There we go. And we have got... Murkrow! Hey, that's pretty good. It's, it can fly, so I'll be able to teach it to fly eventually if it's still alive. And it's got a good typing as well. I think it's dark flying, so... Interesting. Right. How can I beat this thing? without killing it. Absorb's not going to do much, so it might be just grinding out Absorb until it's got low health and then throwing a ball. Also, Murkrow's got good evolution. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's in this gen as well, Honchkrow. So that's good. More, more, more! <sighs> See, I don't know whether to try it out with a scratch, but I just think it's going to do too much damage. Have a go. Oh man, that's risky. I don't know why I did that. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Pursuit, but I'm not. Pursuit does like double damage if you're switching out and then it uses it, but I'm not switching out, so. No props. Absorb, one more. Absorb. Yeah, that's the last one. I'm not risking another. Because I will crit just when I don't want to. Pursuit, I'll eat that up, and then it's time to catch you. Don't think you're quite good enough for me to bother using my Master Ball on, I'm going to be honest. Uh, so let's go for the Pokeballs for now. Oh, it doesn't even wiggle once. Nasty. Right, so let's get... Let's get... Mogger in. I took a paralysis down. Oh no, it actually did pursue. That's ah, right. Did jack shit. <sighs> Wait, 
Oh, it wasn't Mogger that had the fucking Thunder Wave, it was... Damn it! So that's for things that have been fished. Fast Pokemon, I don't know how fast that thing is, but let's give it a go. Oh man, why is your catch rate so high? Or low, or whatever it is that makes you difficult to catch. All stat changes were eliminated. Didn't do any stat changes. Don't care. Love ball. Pokeball for catching Pokemon that are opposite to the gender of your Pokemon. Oh, it is! It is the opposite gender, so that's useful. Ah! Oh, so didn't do anything. Right, this is going to be a spam session here. Just spamming Pokeballs and hoping for the best. Not Master Balls! I want that for if I run into a legendary or something. One, two, three. Oh, you hate me, Murkrow! What is wrong with you? Son of a bitch. Next. Come on, we can do this. Oh, only one that time as well. Another Pokeball. One, two, three. Gotcha! Get it. Well, and we finish off the episode on a happy note with a new Pokemon and a good one as well. I like Murkrow. <sighs> yes, we were going to give you a nickname because we ain't got no choice. And I'm going to call you. But. Russell Crow. If I can fit it in, think about this. Will it fit? I think it will, you know. Two two S's, one L, Russell. Maybe it's supposed to be two L's, but he's only having one. And added to the team we have Russell Crow. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, do you know what? Actually, no, before we go, quickly see what uh, Russell Crowe's ability is and what item he's holding. None. No item. And his ability is Overgrow. Powers up Grass-type moves in a pinch. Useless. Doesn't have any Grass-type moves. But look at his moveset. Flying, Ghost, Dark, Ice. Good coverage. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time uh, when we're going to go to Golden Rod City and see what the fuck we have to do there. Radio Tower or some shit. See ya! Thank you.